William, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Fine. Yeah, excellent presentation. How do you? Could you give a summary of uh, your projects, how it has worked with big data and the impact it has made so far? Sure. So uh, the project I spoke about this morning was uh, an analysis of the impact of M-Pesa in Kenya. Uh, it wasn't so much using big data, reams and reams of data, as people are looking at today here at this conference, but uh, survey data of about 3,000 households in Kenya wow. over the course of uh, six or eight years. Uh, we look for uh, evidence of the ways in which M-Pesa has changed the lives of Kenyans in real and uh, important ways. So one way is that if you are an Impressa user, you are able to protect yourselves against the shocks that wow. are part of everyday life in Kenya, be they health shocks, crop failures, um, job loss, etc. Um, similarly, we found over the longer term that uh, some households in rural areas in particular saw a reduction in poverty rates associated with the use of MPESA. This was particularly uh, noticeable for female-headed households. Oh. And male-headed households didn't seem to respond as much in terms of uh, consumption as female-headed households. Oh, excellent. Uh, you, you talked about uh, the agricultural supply chain and how big data can work with that. What's your opinion about it? Sure. So I think um, you know, coming, living in uh, the United States, I, I use my phone uh, nearly on a daily basis to look at the traffic and to figure out how to get from A to B in the fastest time. Uh, I think we can, and, and that information is generated through a huge amount of data that is collected and analyzed using machine learning and artificial intelligence and whatnot. So that kind of idea could be uh, transplanted, if you like, to use an agricultural term, here in Kenya, to look at ways in, that, in which the agricultural supply chain can be made more efficient. Effectively, when I get from A to B in my car, that's analogous to a farmer getting her bananas from the farm gate to the market, to the market. Um, or to the end consumer. That's a logistical problem that involves many people making decisions along the way. It's conceivable that you can use big data to improve the efficiency of that uh, process uh, with each person along the way exploiting the information they have. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much, uh, William, for joining us. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.